everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, I was, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm Caitlin with a stitch for mom and welcome to floss tube number 18. Um, to keep it up with my promise of doing a video every week. So even though I don't have much to show you this week, um, happy Labor Day weekend. If you are out enjoying the last bit of summer, um, have fun. If you have to work, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week, or you've had a fantastic week. Um, it's the best month of the year. It's my birthday month. It's my husband and my birthday and my room. So it's my birthday, my husband's birthday, and my roommate's birthday all happen in September. Um, my husband's is this week, hers is the next week, and mine's the week after that. So birthday's like three weeks in a row. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of nice. So welcome. So I'm going to start my video. I'm going to show you um, a previous finish of mine and then a previous finish of my mom's because sometimes I like to show previous things that my mom made. Um, I'll start with mine first. So this is actually my husband's favorite cross stitch and it's really dirty. So, so it is, oh, I think I've showed it before. I can't remember what it's called though. It's Satsuma Street. So if you go to Satsuma Street, she's actually having a sale on her Etsy page right now. Um, so it's a Satsuma Street pattern. And the other pattern that I use this fabric for is also a Satsuma Street pattern. So right now this just sits in an easel um, in front of my TV because it's very fall-y. But this is my husband's favorite piece. Yes, I really like this piece. I stitched it on 28 count Monaco, the antique white Monaco. I stitched this probably about, we had first started dating, so like five years ago, about five years ago, maybe four years ago. Um, it's one of my, I love it. It used to be a pillow and then I kind of refinished it into this. Well, I refinished it into a frame and then I changed it and refinished it into this. So, love it. It's super cute. So folly. It's a little dirty. I would actually really like to restitch it. Um, I just feel like I know so much more about cross stitch now and I could just do an even better job. But, so that was that piece. Um, the other piece I have is a pillow that my mom made. So, Here's a pillow. Uh, I cannot, this is stitched on like 10 count. It's very, very big. Um, and this stuff thing is very, very old. <laughs> but I don't know, it just really makes me happy just to see it and look at it. Of course, I don't have it up, it's just in my craft room, but it's very sweet. And I like that the fabric is umbrellas and she's holding an umbrella. Oh, mom, you so crafty. Such a cute, cute, I actually think I might have this pattern too. I might not, but I might. I might have that pattern. Um, adorable. So those are the two previous finishes that I wanted to show you. So I don't have any actual finishes. I will have a finish later today, but I wanted to get my video done. Um, this is the finish I will have later today. It's Autumn ABCs by Little House Needleworks. I've been avoiding working on this one because I just needed to do the scarecrow and I just like was not into it and I didn't have yield gold and everywhere sold out of it. And I think it's because the new holiday hoopla might use it, but every everywhere sold out of it. Like my LNS was sold out. I went to Reflections, they were sold out. Um, they were sold out on one, two, three stitch. Needle case goodies is sold out. Lots of people are sold out, but I'm almost done. So all I have to do I need to finish the leaves right here and put a beak on him. And then finish the inside of that quilt, put a beak, finish these leaves. Um, this is what I've been avoiding. <laughs> I did it this morning. Put a beak on him, put a beak on him and I'll be done. Yeah, I'm really close to being done. I will definitely be done today. Um, after this video, I will go work on it again. So yeah, it's super cute. I love it. And I already have a place for it. It's just going to be perfect. Perfect. All right. So that was that piece. Um, another whip that I worked on this week was the small from Sunflower Manor, this autumn piece. I didn't get a ton done. Um, I had to rip some stitches out last night. So I almost have the sunflower finished and I almost have the tea finished. And then I had to rip out these white stitches and redo them last night. I've been very happy across projects, like do a little stitch here, a couple stitches here, a couple stitches here. But I'm loving how this is turning out. I love it on this color fabric. It's so cute. 
So I'd like to get that done. Um, another whip I have is my Chock Full Harvest. I found that it's really, I think I told this last time, it's really hard for me to work on this project at night. So I've been trying during the day. It's gonna be so much smaller than I thought it was too. So I have, um, it says Harvest. And I've got some of the flowers done. Hopefully I can finish this soon. I did get in my haul, you'll see the new chock full that I got, but it's getting there. It's getting there slowly but surely. And I did have an idea what I wanted to do with it, but now I'm changing my mind on what I wanted, to, how I want to finish it. So that's still kind of up in the air how I want to finish it. But so I worked on that. Another whip that I've actually had started for a while, but I keep forgetting to show you, is the Prairie Schoolers Prairie Seasons, and I started the autumn. I started this a couple weeks ago, and I just, it wasn't with the rest of my whip, so I kept forgetting about it. And then I messed up on it and had to pull a whole bunch of stitches out, so I didn't want to look at it. So I didn't, I worked, we went to Omaha yesterday, and I worked on this in Omaha. So I really don't have that much done at all. But it's cute. I like it. I can't wait to do the little pumpkin guy. So excited. This is supposed to be a dark rust, but it definitely looks brown to me. But I'm just doing what the pattern calls for. That's all I'm doing. All right, another whip I have that I would like to get done this week is Trick or Treat by Prairie Schooler. So really, I did like five stitches on this. But if I show you and I tell you I want to get done this week, then I'm have to get it done this week even though I said that about chock full harvest it's okay um so as you guys remember I am just doing the little trick-or-treaters and the trees and the owls up here so I'm really like really truly I am almost done so I started up on the witch my goal is to I'm probably gonna decorate for Halloween on my birthday happy birthday to me that's usually my birthday gift to myself is I get to decorate for Halloween so nice to myself. <laughs> um, so I would definitely like to have this done by the 18th. Um, and I don't see why I couldn't. It's just, it's a lot of monotonous colors. I know, it's not my favorite. Finally, I didn't bring the chart, but finally I worked on our stitch along. So we are doing Lizzie Kate's 12, uh, the Christmas rules, and we're calling it 12 months of Christmas SAL. So we started in January and we were doing one rule a month and I got really far behind because of having to go to the hospital for my dad and getting caught up in mania and a lot of not wanting to stitch um, Christmas stuff. So here's what I have. So I almost have no pouting done. I will finish this block this week and then start on the um, sheet block. My goal is to get one block done a, month, a week until I'm caught up with you guys. So that's my goal. It will definitely be done by Christmas. That I'm not worried about. But so yep, and I changed the colors of the stocking. So I used crab cakes in the middle instead of that blue because I'm not doing blue on this. Um, I'm skipping out on that blue color. Just not. It doesn't really go with it. it now, if I love, if you go see Madam the Isis video. She uses, she did like a blue conversion and it is gorgeous, like absolutely beautiful. That I like. I just don't like the blue mixed in, like the little bit of blue in here. She's doing like blues and silvers and then has that little bit of red mixed in, which looks gorgeous. Um, but it just doesn't work for mine. The blue doesn't work in mine, but I'm doing. So I'm gonna do more pink based. All right, so those were all my, my cross stitch whips. Now I can show you what I've been working on. All right, so I got some blocks done on my Merry and Bright quilt. Um, it's really cool. So I'm doing, I found out my sewing machine has these really cool stitches. So I'm doing um, all the blocks are just have like a line down the seam. And I might add some more, I haven't decided yet, but then this one has, the middle one has the swirly lines. So I have this block. This block is done. This block is done, but not cut, cut down. And this block is almost done. 
no, it's not going to line up. No, it's there's a lot of things it's not going to do. It's not going to win any awards. But I like it nonetheless. None, all the same. All the same. I like it. It's gorgeous. Every time I look at it, it just makes me happy. So I'm thinking about what I'm going to get my husband for Christmas. And I think I might try to make him a Star Wars quilt. We'll see. I've been looking for, like, I just want, like, pre-cut Star Wars fabric. And it's just hard to find. Like, I don't want to have to cut jelly rolls myself. That sounds terrible. I'll do it if I have to. But it just sounds absolutely awful. I don't want to do it. <laughs> All right. I did get some new patterns. Um, one of mine, I can't remember where. I bought these off Etsy. And they were, she was running, like, a 20% off deal. I can't remember what it was, though. I'll think, I'll put it in the link below, and I'll just say um but I got goodbye fall plum street I love a little turkey on this pattern you can't really see it very well I mean everyone probably knows what it is but goodbye fall I got the autumn salt boxes from Plum Street. Funny fact, the lady who does Plum Street samplers lives like right next, like right down the street from my uh, mother and father-in-law. And I'm trying to convince my husband to go move out there. It's not working. Um, I bought Carrots and Cottontails um, Farm Hands-On Design. I know I hadn't bought any yet, but now I bought one. Well, actually. Um, and then I got the Star Spangled Swine Farm. And then finally, from Reflections in Omaha. That's another reason why I want to move back to Omaha. I could be right next to I could go to Reflections all the time. Not that I don't like my LNS here, but. Um, I got the chock full boo. So I'm not going to start this until I get my other one finished. So I've been thinking about what fall slash Halloween stitching I want to do when I've got a lot I want, but then I won't have like, I won't have any of it done for fall. So I was thinking of instead of doing fall stitching coming up, I might start Christmas stitching so that way I could get stuff done. So I did pull out all, <laughs> all of the Christmas patterns I want to stitch this year. It's my, my giant pile of Christmas patterns. Um, the first one is letters for Santa. I really want to stitch this one. I don't think it would be that long. It's mostly just letters. This one would not take me very long. Um, I want to stitch Merry Christmas. I also have Happy Holidays by Country Cottage Jingle Works that I really like. But this one should not take me very long at all either. So many. I want to stitch this one. Merry Mouse. Putting mice in my kitchen. Um, of course, need to stitch winter ABCs because I'll have the fall ABCs done and I'll need to replace it. I want to stitch Happy Christmas to all. And this will go on that, I have that, win that autumn row. This will go on that. Um, this one won't be, have to be till after Christmas, but I want to do snowy string. With Priscilla's color changes. I want to do Jingle All the Way, even though I'm not gonna do the other the witch this year. And then I want to do snowbirds, but once again, this one doesn't have to be done till after Christmas. And then I absolutely love I have not done a tiny modernist thing in a while. So I just need to get one done. So I want to do one of these. I'm leaning towards Tis the Season to be Jolly. 
and Mary. These, these are my two favorite out of here. This is going to be Jolly and Mary and Bright. So I do have some Christmas whips that I've already have started that I also need to finish. So I need to finish Joy, which is almost done. Almost done. I need to finish Mary and Bright. So I'm only doing the bottom portion of this one. It's going to say Mary and Bright, and then it's going to have, let's see, the chart is in here, yeah. So it's going to just have the trees and Mary and Bright, and then I'm going to bring this down. Um, so this should be finished. And this is on linen. So this is my first time using linen. Um, I need to work on, oops, and my, my Christmas bag in here. Um, I got a lot of random stuff in here. This is what I got. I need to finish Winter. Lizzie Kate's Winter Smalls, the winter part. This was the Stitch Mania start. Changing colors to just do um, black, red, green, and pink. Those are my winter colors. Black, red, green, and pink. Um, and then I have this one. Christmas Eve started the big piece. So I just have it all laid out. This was a Stitch Mania start. So yeah, here pretty soon, I'm just gonna plug away on those. So, um, that's all I have for you this week. Hopefully next week I'll have some finishes. Um, so, I wanna know, where do you buy your charts, like online? So like, my local LNS doesn't have an online shop, which is fine because I try to get there when I can, but sometimes I can't get there. And so like, who do you, who's your go-to Etsy shop? Who's your go-to like just regular shop? I do some fact, I try to spread it around. So I do gem stitching, needle case goodies, um, down sunset shine lane, fat quarter shop. Sometimes I do frog and stitch. Um, who else? Cutie pie stitcher. I think that's where I bought my last one. So I'm just cutie pie stitcher. And I'm sure there's more and I can't remember. I can't think about it. So tell me where you buy your charts. And oh, I bought, I'm so excited. It's coming on Tuesday. I bought my first ever project bag. It's Halloween. It's gorgeous. It's from um, Three Kitten Quilter, uh, I think, maybe. Oh gosh, now I can't remember and this is awkward. I'll put her link in the in the thing below. It has to do with kittens and quilting and her bags are gorgeous. And she just started like two months ago. Um, and I bought one and I'll show you it next week. But I cannot wait. I'm so excited. It has my favorite fabric. So my Halloween fabric that I bought, but it's like black. It's so cool. So go ahead and check those out. I will try to link them below if I remember. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Bye.